Mr. Grasso for introductions. Thank you, Chairman. Today I'm pleased to introduce, along with Councilmember Kenyon McDuffie, the Public Financing of P Political Campaigns Act of 2013. The intent of this bill is to seek to hear all the voices in our democracy, to level the playing field for candidates, and to return the attention of lawmakers to the work at hand, as opposed to the riding a treadmill of fundraising activity in order to survive in public service. I'm asking that the D.C. Council step up like Maine, Connecticut, Arizona, and North Carolina and pass a law that embraces citizens-funded elections. Support for candidates in the District of Columbia generally comes from three sources. Friends of a candidate who know her qualifications and support her aspirations for democracy and the common good. Citizens who have views on governance and public policy or citizens with grievances with governance. And individuals with commercial interests that either benefit or risk loss due to decisions of governance. All of these sources are appropriate in, functioning, in a functioning democracy. The situation we face today is that we are out of balance. Forces with something to gain from political influence by far outweigh all other citizens and interests. We cannot return the balance by simply punishing one source or another. The appropriate solution is to return to the balance that has served our democracy over many generations and increases the number of engaged residents who have a stake in their leaders. My public financing of a political campaigns act helps restore that balance. The following are some of the key features. Candidates qualify for public financing by collecting seed money contributions of up to $100 per person. Qualified candidates receive grant funding from the government in primary and then in general elections to appropriately convey their electoral message. Public debates will be convened at appropriate times for all voting audiences to enhance the civic discussion of public issues and officeholder responsibilities. Administration and oversight of the program will ensure fairness success in message delivery, and address concerns of citizens and financial supporters. This legislation provides for financing these election costs through assessing a small fee on all government contracts that are over $1 million a year. Our fledgling democracy in the District of Columbia depends largely on campaign donations from special interests who need government influence for commercial reasons. As a government, we are overdue to build interest and activism from citizens who have a stake in our city's future. A focus on smaller dollar donations with a matching public grant to pay for elections will enlarge the voices of everyday D.C. residents. Thank you for considering this legislation. I hope that all of my colleagues will stand up for publicly funded elections and co-sponsor this legislation.